Latest unemployment numbers show the coronavirus is still hitting the U.S. job market hard. The Department of Labor reporting another 3.2 million Americans filed first-time claims for unemployment benefits last week. That brings the total number of initial claims filed since mid-March to 33.5 million. While those numbers are staggering, it's the fifth week in a row that the number of initial claims fell. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez is live with how the city is trying to help Houstonians pay their rent. Kathy, good morning. Well, good morning to you. Registration has been open now for about an hour. The program expects to help 7,000 families who need it most. Relief may be coming for families struggling to pay rent during the COVID-19 pandemic. That includes Kanika Jefferson. Her family lives in an apartment in South Houston. She lost two jobs in March and has been living off unemployment. I mean, all I can do is just live day to day and just pray that, you know, it all works out. But I've made payments to them, so it's not like I'm not trying. Houston City Council approved a new rental assistance program. The first step starting today, landlords can apply online at HoustonRentAssistance.org. Tenants could receive up to $1,000 per month for April and May. To qualify, landlords must agree to waive late fees and interest, initiate payment plans for tenants if necessary, and stop the eviction process. After the landlord is approved, their tenants can apply online starting May 13th. To be eligible, tenants should be late on their rent for April and May. We're in good standing before April and cannot pay rent because of COVID-19. Jefferson is hoping she can qualify for relief. Right now, I'm just trying to make sure that my kids are able to still eat versus so much of worrying about the rent. Because they they're always first. And some positive news. I spoke with a property manager just about 20 minutes ago, and he was actually in the process of applying online. He says he would notify his tenants in in case they were approved. And he also said they were not evicting people and they were not charging late fees at this time. Of course, for more information on that program, go to our website, click2houston.com. Reporting live, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Kathy, thank you.